Hello, what's up, you photographer Ronix Sweet and our tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use this empty layer within my frequency separation actions to make your images better. And you're going to be using that empty layer to do two things on your images. So, without further ado, let's get started. And if I told you find the video really resourceful and helpful, I request that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this tutorial to so many people out there. So this is the image that we are going to be using today. And if I told you are interested in purchasing my retouching essentials pack that contains this action, make sure to check the links in the description of this video so that you can support the channel for the content I always create for you guys right here. So I'm just going to come straight to my actions. I'm going to play my 16-bit frequency separation action right here. So I'm it is going to run and I'm going to be using a radius of 6. So this point you have to put in that radius until or the radius that starts blurring out the details within your image and simply hit OK. So I want to show you this empty layer and how you can easily use it to first of all match skin tones and even to retouch your images using frequency separation. So I'm just going to delete the black and white layer out of this group because the most important emphasis is on this layer one or this empty layer within the high frequency and the low frequency layer it is just between the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer so usually if at all you want to use this layer for retouching purposes you can use it in this way i'm just going to come and get the mixer brush tool and for the settings i'm going to be using i'm going to be using a hardness of uh, zero percent and make sure it is a clean brush right here then i make sure it is this option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke is selected the weight is 9 load 75 mix at 90 in the flow 100 percent so when it comes to using this layer for retouching purposes you simply come and first of all hide this layer right here you can see i have hidden the texture layer and since this is an empty layer after hiding the texture layer just come to this sample all layers and you click on it yeah after clicking on it is going to activate and since this is an empty layer you can as well use it as a layer that has information because it's going to be sampling from colors that fall within or below it since it has no information within it so like I said, you can use it for retouching purposes in your images by checking the sample all layers, but always make sure that you have turned off the textures. So when you click on sample all layers, it is not going to take into consideration the textures because that has been hidden. So in order to use it to retouch, just simply start retouching. And you can see it is just going to go straight ahead to uh, retouch your images. So let me show you a quick one right here and how it is going to be affecting the image as we are trying to retouch so you can see always blend the transitions within the skin by using uh, this empty layer and using your mixer brush tool so by using the mixer brush tool we are going to be evening out the transitions in the frequencies of uh, the image so we are basically trying to even out the transitions within the skin right there by using or selecting our empty layer and we are working on it as a layer that is containing color because we have sampled or we have checked this option that says sample all layers and it is treating it as a layer that has information so if at all i'm um, to turn off these layers you can see these are the areas we have worked on and the areas we have really mixed are really the areas in the empty layer so when you come back and turn this on and we first of all turn on the texture layer in this case you can see the before and the after before after so that is one way to use uh, this empty layer in frequency separation to retouch so the next way that you can use it you're just going to delete this i'm just going i'm trying to show you how you can use this layer to make your images better so the second way you can use it is basically to i'm just going to create once again 
is to even out the colors within your images remember sometimes when we're using our lighting it tends to really fall it doesn't reach some areas and it's going to create a difference within the skin colors or the skin tones of the image so with this empty layer i'm just going to uncheck this sample layers so with this empty layer you can come and you work on the image to look better and paint in colors that you want so just come with the empty layer selected come under the brushes and get a soft round brush make sure the hardness is a zero percent and this time around we're just going to come right on the empty layer and first of all change the blend mode to color so that it doesn't affect the image so much so by doing this you can now zoom into the image and simply copy and paint color so in order to copy color you hold down the alternate or option key on the keyboard and you simply left click or alternate you left click and you can see that color has been sampled from that area and how to paint just come and start painting like that so like i said you always have to make sure the sample size with the eyedropper tool is five by five or three by three average so i'm just going to come right here and i'm going to copy and paint and when you feel like the color blend mode is not working well for you you can come and change it back to normal and you copy and start painting but this is going to be a little bit intense or too much so what i would recommend just come and make sure the opacity is really a very low opacity so when you start copying and painting in color that you want and you're trying to blend the transitions within uh, the skin or you have or you're trying to even out or have a uniform skin color you can use this empty layer to do that for you to have a very nice and uniform color so you can see that this area is different from here so you can come and sample you hold on the alternate or option and left click to copy that color and you can now paint that color in an area you feel is a little bit darker than the rest of uh, the image so you can come and do this right here and if at all i turn this on and off you can see what it has just done and what that empty layer has just contributed to the image that's the before using it and this is the after before after so you can use it to have a uniform skin color in the image by simply taking down the opacity of your brush and simply using that low opacity to copy and as well paint right there so the lower the opacity the better the effect is going to be because you're going to be painting it slowly and gradually into your image you can see what it is doing and its effect just look at this area right here i'm just going to brush a couple of times and i show you the effect and the importance of using this empty layer as a method to have even skin tones within uh, the image so i'm just going to come and paint right here and just continue doing this and with just few strokes you keep on sampling on different areas to have a better outcome for your image so this is how to use the empty layer you can see the before and after before it is now looking nice and better and you have a more uniform a natural skin for your model right here you can see that for those areas we have just painted by sampling and painting on those areas it has really made the image better so if at all you have all the time in the world you can use it as a dodge and burn technique because you are not going to be tampering with the colors or the skin tones for the image you're just going to be merging them using the brush but this i would recommend that you simply get your wacom tablet and you do this to have better and nicer results within a very short time so basically this is how you can use our empty layer within my frequency separation actions and those interested make sure you check the links in the description 
like I said, how we're using it, we're basically using a brush tool that is a soft round brush, that needs a 0%, opacity 10%, flat 100%. With this selected and the blend mode is normal. And how we are sampling, we are basically holding down the alternate or option key on the keyboard and clicking on an area that we feel like it is having a reference or better skin tone color. And we're just basically painting on the darker areas or areas that have an inconsistent area of skin color to eliminate it and have it blending and looking like the area we wanted to basically perfect so you can come and use it in these areas you copy from there and also use it in this area and in this case it's going to be a better way that's the before after before after just look at how nice and amazing the image has turned out to be or look in this way so basically this is how to use the empty layer in my frequency separation action and if at all you are interested in buying and supporting the channel you can download my retouching essentials pack and this is, this pack is going to be containing all these actions that are going to help you retouch or make your retouching process or workflow better and faster within photoshop so this is all for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to purchase my actions and also keep practicing and make sure that you hit the like button and youtube is YouTube is going to push and recommend this video to many people out, out there. Ronix from Monix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.